Greetings hobbyists, this is Artisans of All, and welcome to my 3D printing setup. And unlike all the ones that you see online, yes, it's a bit of a mess. Man, it feels like I'm in some sort of meeting. Yes, my name's Artisans of All, and I'm a 3D printing slob. But that's not why we're here. We're here because I live in the UK, and being that this setup is in my shed with no sort of heating, it's starting to get a bit cold at this time of year, hence the hoodie. And that causes a lot of problems for 3D printing, and this is a period of time where a lot of people I know just give up entirely. It's not worth it. And I want to talk to you about a few techniques that can help solve that problem. So the first thing you can do is simply take your resin that you're going to be using and take some hot or boiling water and put it in a bath of it for a short period of time. So this works pretty well. It does heat up the resin if you're going to do it. I recommend that you leave it in there for a period of time. Give it a bit of a shake round, a bit of a mix, and then put it back in. And you're going to need to do that for maybe 10 to 15 minutes to get the resin heated up. And that's great in theory, until you realise that every single time you want to do a 3D print, you need to take the resin out of the vat, put it back into the bottle, heat the kettle up, put the bottle in, spend a load of time shaking it around while you're just watching it be hot, and then pour it back in, and inevitably you've spilt a little bit of resin or pouring it out of the vat isn't completely clean, so you have to clean everything off. It's just a real pain, and after doing that for about a week, i would had enough of it. So this is what I use now, and this is absolutely brilliant. Now if I just take the top off my 3D printer, you'll see that there's a few differences between your 3D printer and mine other than brand. The first is, yes, I've changed all the knobs at the top. I actually prefer them being in metal. It means that you can clean them much more easily. But more importantly, you'll notice this band around the outside. And that is actually a heating element. It's for heating up the concoction that's going to become beer in small barrels or demijohns. And you can buy this on Amazon and it's pretty cheap. This one's under 30 quid and it works really well. You just plug it in, it's got a temperature dial on it. You just hit it up to max and that will heat the resin up to a pretty perfect temperature for 3D printing. And it means you're not trying to heat up the entirety of your shed, which means it's gonna save you a massive amount of energy and therefore cost. And if your energy bills are going up anything like they are in the UK, that is a blessing, an absolute blessing. And if you're interested, there's a link in the top right hand corner and there's one in the description. This is an affiliate link, which means you're helping out the channel and it's not costing you any more. So please do have a look. So all I've done here, if I just take this off, is I've used a small clip that I just got from a DIY store to hold it on and then it just keeps it in nice and securely. And you can just put that around the back and then it will keep on tight enough that you don't need to worry about putting the lid on. So that's my top winter tip and I really hope that helps you print through the winter. Have a great day guys.